What's up my friends? This is Steve with Kilted and Bearded with another kilt review. Today we're going to be looking at the Angry Bastards Warhorse Kilt. Um, Angry Bastards is a relatively new kilt company. It was started in 2014 uh, by Mr. Steve Weston. Um, he was a, a journeyman carpenter and mason for 25 years and he wanted to build a kilt that would stand up to the rigors of the construction trade. And I think he's really accomplished that. This kilt is really top notch. It's heavy duty material, a 10 ounce, I think you can get 10 to 15, I think, ounce duck cloth. And it's bulletproof. I mean, it is the probably the toughest kilt I own. It, I'd have to, as far as durability goes, I'd, I'd rank it above the Utila Kilts Workman as far as how it's going to hold up. Um, let's take a look at it. I'll show you the kilt. Okay, this is... The War Horse from Angry Bastards. And as you can see, this material is heavy, heavy, heavy. I mean, you can see when you lift it, it doesn't just fold over. It's got a little bit of rigidity to it. And that's nice. I mean, that's good to have in a good utility kilt. Um, another thing that I like is it's got some size adjustment up here built into it. So you've got the four snaps on the inside and, of course, over here. So you can go up a little bit in size, put on a little bit of weight, take off a little bit of weight, you're okay. You got it. He's got you covered. Now, there's a hidden pocket in here in the apron, passes all the way through, comes out this side. I like that. I've uh, I carry a pocket knife in there myself, and it's a little hard to get your hand in there at first, but once you you know once you're used to it, it it's no biggie. Um, I was I didn't know what to think about this closure system at first. I, you know, most of my kilts, they've got either the two buckles up here or they button all the way around the apron. This one doesn't button here. It doesn't snap shut. But you have these closures here. And once I used them, once I tried them out, I like them. I didn't know what to think at first, but they actually won me over. This one in particular does a great job. It holds this apron down. It's not going to blow open on you. And even if it does, the in inside apron goes all the way across. It covers you really well. Good modesty on this one. Um, it's got hangers all the way around, front and back and side. You've got a nice logo right there, the Angry Bastards logo on the rear pocket. Just right for a wallet. Don't have to worry about it falling out. Holds on really well. Uh, the pleating on this kilt is fantastic. I love the way he done the pleats on this. Hangs very nice. You don't really get that swish that you might like in a traditional kilt, but for practicality, um, it's perfect. It really is. Another thing I really like about this kilt is there's a liner sewn in. It's not too, not too thick, not too heavy, but just right for what you need. Um, and it's comfortable. It really feels good when you're wearing this. It feels good on the skin. That's a feature that Again, I wasn't really sure I was going to like, but now that I've tried it out, I love it. There's a number of pocket systems that you can get with this kilt as well, which is the one thing that really turned me on to uh, Kilt Man kilts, is their, their pocket system. You know, you could get a pocket for just about anything you needed, and it was removable and really functional. I really love that feature of the Kilt Man kilt. Angry Bastards have done something similar with their pockets, but a little bit of a different idea. Now, as you can see, this pocket is enormous. I mean, you can put it all the way to your elbow. You can stick your hand in there all the way to your elbow. But uh, this one, you know, it's got a couple hammer loops on it if you need it. A couple of pockets here for, you know, maybe some marking pencils or tools, screwdrivers, chisels, whatever you need. Um, I mean, look at this. That's a big pocket. Clear up your form. Snaps close really easy. Unsnaps really easy. I like that. You don't have to fight with it. One-handed operation. You're good to go. You got your hangers right here. Hang on to the side of the kilt. You can hang it a little bit more forward or a little bit more to the back to your preference. Um, that's one pocket there. And I've only got these two in the sporin, the matching sporin. But he makes a number of different pockets. So you're covered. 
this one you know single pocket here again just as deep as the other one and you've got this little pocket out here you can put your cell phone or whatever you need to in there really outstanding I love the way he done this and you know they're durable heavy duty fabric same fabric the kilts made out of and they're removable which I love I love to be able to take my pockets off if I want to go out and be a little bit more formal and I like having a variety of pockets I don't like being stuck with just a sewn on pocket it's the same old same old I like a little bit of variety and I'm sure you do too you know, I'd like to be able to, if I want a smaller pocket, I can put a smaller pocket on. If I just need, you know, to carry a few items, or if I'm working and I need the bigger pockets, I can put these on. And uh, Angry Bastards has thought of that. Now, a sporin pocket is really nice. I like the way it hangs. It attaches right here on the front. Get the camera straight there. Um, you can see the size of this. It's, it's a really big sporin and it's very functional. I don't know if you can see in there very well. Maybe I can turn it to the light a little bit. Nah, you're still not going to be able to see very well. But there is some individual credit card slots in there. A cash pocket. You see I've got my pocket knife in there. And then it's separated. You've got two more pockets or two more pouches inside the sporin. So you've got plenty of room in this spore, and in fact, if you wanted to take the side pockets off, you could do well with just this spore. It's got that much room on it. And again, it's the same ripstop duck cloth that the kilt's made out of, so you're not going to have any problems with this falling apart. I mean, I, I can guarantee you that. This kilt and the pocket system will hold up to whatever you're going to put it through. And that's not something you can say about a lot of kilts, especially not you know the the more modestly priced kilts you get yourself a kilt around eighty dollars or whatever and you're not gonna have the same construction one of the things that angry bastard says in their uh, on their website about their kilts is you get what you paid for and these kilts are you know relatively expensive but you get what you paid for this is a phenomenal kilt it's probably Along with my Utila Kilt Workman, which I, I do love that kilt, but I would put this kilt up with that kilt any day. And this is a family-owned and operated business. It's, you know, they're not, it's not a mass-produced kilt. You're not just going to call them and say, hey, send me a kilt, and they're going to have it to you here in a couple of days. They make these kilts specifically for you, to your specifications. So you call them in, you give them your size, you give them the drape, you take all your measurements, send it in to Angry Bastards, and they'll build your kilt for you. And it's going to take about about three weeks, right around there, to get your kilt, maybe a month. But what you get is a quality product. You're not getting just some generic kilt that everybody else owns. You're getting a unique product. And I like to support the small businesses like that and get them going, especially with people as good as the people at Angry Bastards. Their customer service is really second to none. I was in contact with uh, Mr. Weston back and forth while he was making my kilt and he was phenomenal to work with so if you want a top-notch quality kilt that's on level with Utila kilts or any of the top kilt manufacturers out there try out an Angry Bastard because they are really online with all of them um, phenomenal kilt once again I can't say enough good about it. I've, I've been wearing it for a while now. I usually give it, you know, two months before I do a review on a kilt. I was so impressed with this kilt that I decided to jump the gun and do it a little bit early. But I have no worries whatsoever about this kilt holding up. There's not going to be any problems with it. You can tell by the construction when you first put it on that this is a kilt that you're going to be able to wear for years and years. And you're not going to have to worry about it. So, that's the Angry Bastard. Warhorse kilt. He has a number of different models. Um, you can get, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head and I apologize, but you, he has a, a line of kilts where you can get uh, your tartan sewn in onto your pleats. So it's a two-tone kilt. Looks great. I've seen it on their website. I'm going to try one of those out next. So if you, if you want a top of the line kilt and you don't mind spending a couple hundred dollars on a kilt, give these guys a shout. I guarantee you you're going to be satisfied with it. Um, 
if you're like me and you like the heavy duck cloth utility kilts and you really put your kilts you know to the test you wear them every day you wear them during work or hiking or whatever you do that's out in the woods and you need something that you're going to be able to rely on this is the kilt for you hands down one of the best kilts I own so that's it for Kilted and Bearded the review on the Angry Bastard Warhorse Kilt I'm Steve and uh, go out put on a kilt and hang free my friends